like I said, I live in El Segundo with my two kids. I have a boy and a girl. And we found out what we were having both times. Because you can, so I think you should. But just so you all know, Jane, I've talked to you about this. That's not cool anymore. No, the new thing is to wait. Yeah, you hear all these couples and they're like, um, we're not going to find out the sex of our baby because it's like one of life's last great surprises. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let me tell you something, people. After you've had your legs wrapped around your head for 10 hours straight, and all of a sudden you shoot a human being out your vagina, you're surprised. <laughs>
resolution. What I do is I get them a snack, you know, something from the Target deli like a jalapeno popper. That buys you like an extra 20, 25 minutes, ladies. Try it and thank me later. It works. It really does. Um, yeah. So I have a three-year-old and he's really into music. He loves it and I'm so excited about it, but I'm struggling with when I'm gonna be able to share with him the type of music we grew up listening to. You know, like what's our generation gonna do? Really? You know, my granddaddy used to pull me aside and be like, baby, come here. This song is about Billie Holiday. It's about a man loving a woman. Your granny and I used to Lindy hop all over the dance floor to this one. It's such a sweet memory for me, you know? What am I gonna say to my kid? Hey, come here. Did you hear this song? This song is called Gold Digger. <laughs> it's about how women are a bunch of hoes. <laughs> That'll leave you brokey broke. <laughs> Your mommy used to back her ass up while daddy dry humped her all over the dance floor.